not without you, sir. You get on that plane, son. It's a brave new world you're heading to. And a young scientist is going to be worth 20 old politicians. the Rockies. Right, this isn't one of your crazy stories now, right, Jackson? How the hell are we gonna make it to China, huh? Hey, Gordon, without Jackson, we wouldn't even made it out of California. Right, Noah, please. <laughs> Positive confirmation on this? Thank you, I understand. President's not coming. So, the captain doesn't want to abandon his sinking ship. That's his choice and a noble one. I have also just learned that the vice president's chopper went down in the ash cloud outside of Pittsburgh. Fortunately, we have protocols to follow. What about the Speaker of the House? In this chaos, I have no idea. Where is he? He's the commander in chief now, sir. I don't know what to tell you. This is one flight he shouldn't have been late for. Tell the captain we're taking off. Sir, you don't have the authority. Who's got the authority? You, you've got the authority? You couldn't even keep your goddamn mouth shut. You betrayed top secret information last year, could have had us all killed. What the hell are you talking about? You told your father everything. Put this entire plan in jeopardy. Good thing for you, the old man could keep his mouth shut better than you. Oh, come on, don't look so shocked. We had to monitor everybody you knew. How do you think we kept it a secret for so long? So we just killed anybody who tried to talk? Anybody who tried to talk was not just an enemy of the state, they're an enemy of humanity. The director of the Louvre was an enemy of humanity? After he called a press conference, he was! Jesus, what did you think? We're all just gonna get on board, hold hands, and sing kumbaya? Sit down and buckle up. Oh, excuse me, is my father in the command center? The president's on the line, Dr. Wilson. Thank you. Where are you? You never would have gotten on that plane if I told you. But you said that you'd be... Darling, listen to me. Do you understand how much strength it gives me? Knowing that you'll survive. The only thing left to do now is... is tell the truth to people. At least if they know. Families can say goodbye to each other. A mother can comfort her children. And a father can ask his daughter for forgiveness. Whenever you're ready, Mr. President. My fellow Americans, this will be the last time I address you. As you know, catastrophe has struck our nation, has struck the world. I wish I could tell you we can prevent the coming destruction. We cannot. Today, none of us are strangers. Today, we are one family stepping into the dark.